The future of China's Air Force will depend on the high technology needed to prevail in the information age. PLA Air Force Commander General Xu Qiliang made these remarks during a visit to an Air Force unit in East China's Shandong Province on Monday. Our very own Han Bin was there and has this to report. Air Force chiefs from 34 countries are visiting the PLA's Air Division at the Jining Military Training Base. Established in 1950, it's the PLA's first air attack division. Today, it serves as a contingency force for various peacetime missions. The development of this division reflects the pervading trend of the PLA's military doctrine. So you want to get ready. The future direction of our Air Force is to build a fighting force able to prevail in information-based warfare. We have to adopt the strategic transformation toward high-tech development. The domestically developed Chinese fighter bomber FBC-1 was on display. It represents the Air Force's latest achievements and forms the mainstay of its major combat capabilities. Many are impressed by the PLA's technological leap forward. Chinese Air Force uh, is uh, comparable to any other Air Force in the world. And it is this factor, the reason that Chinese Air Force is so powerful and so potent that uh, the peace is being maintained all over Asia. As I had, uh, have understood it, I think it's a great example of good uh, transparency from the Chinese side. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, talking to other airmen is probably the most valuable thing we can do to build trust and uh, ease tension and make sure that uh, we keep the world peaceful and stable. So this is the best opportunity to, uh, to get to know the Chinese people and the Chinese airmen. And you are flying this type of aircraft? Yes. And in the rear seat, is it a pilot or a weasel? It's a pilot. So Foreign commanders regard the visit as a demonstration of the PLA's growing openness. Their Chinese counterparts agree, saying the event is a good opportunity to learn from each other. Visiting an Air Force unit is only part of a series of activities to mark the 60th anniversary of the PLA Air Force. There are also air show, exhibition and a seminar. With the gaining in strength of the People's Liberation Army and China continue to open up, such face-to-face -face contact with the foreign counterparts will become more frequent. Han Bin, CCTV.